Hi, my name is Paul Vivil from Team Origin and these are my top 5 midliners for solo queue. Fitz is just a really good champion skirmish race, so first of all you're really mobile, so you can move around the map, get kills everywhere, and your 1v1, 2v2 potential is really high. The early laning phase is not the best, so you take the corruption potion and you just try to kind of farm up, but as soon as you hit even level 4, you can already start trading, you can dodge, your, dodge easily spells of your e-spell and you can one-shot the guy after level 6. I take Ari on the 4th place because she actually doesn't have any bad matchups, but as fits her early game is not too good, so it's fine in most of the matchups, I don't think she has like a huge counter. You can nearly always pick her in solo queue into nearly every matchup and come good, like calm the head out of it if you play it correctly. In solo queue, you pretty much have the mobile champion again, getting these rooms, getting the kills on uh, like on different lanes, or getting with a gank your lane going. It's kind of these assassins who either kill the mid lane 1v1 or getting killed by skirmishes from other lanes. Okay, that is incredibly strong because with the new mastery, Thunder Lord being in the meter, you can easily pop it. You shouldn't see that as a melee champion, actually. Like more like a range poke champion in the mid lane because he will just he will just W E Q like W Q you and he will deal a lot of damage. So if he if the Q spell of Z doesn't go through a minion, he kind of gets your half life of one combination. And his early game is really strong with just having this poke able in his pocket. And after the six of the re recent buffs, where his ultimate is even dealing more damage in the early game, you're nearly always able to one shot the guy like. Z is strong against nearly all of the control mages, so after 6, it's nearly impossible to not one-shot someone or like to not kill the guy. With my Mortius coming in, being really like really really strong item on ADs, against control mages, there's not really much counterplay to them. Like you just play my Mortius and you're pretty much unkillable. So the blow has nearly no losing matchup. I think the only losing match trap she has is that, so you need to kind of take care of that. But other than that, you have insanely high damage in the early game. You have burst, you have CC with the chain, and if your jungler is smart enough, he just comes, let's say you have an Elise jungler and you play LeBlanc, you will win every 2v2. It's really impossible to lose it, and even if the guy is in the middle of the lane, if you just flash W, chain him, and Elise is coming out of the brush somewhere, you always one shot him. Like, it doesn't matter if he has barrier, exhaust, Heal. It's really really hard to avoid LeBlanc ganks and at some point if you're strong enough as LeBlanc and the team fights are c coming up you can just W forward Q ultimate the enemy AD carry and Q ultimate is actually going to pop the sun a lot or like the enemy AD carry will drop to nearly like 20% HP in the start of the fight already. That's pretty much it. So Twisted Fate is different to the champions I said before. He doesn't really wreck his lane 1v1. Obviously, it is it, you are able to if you play good around your cards and you are using your movement speed and are able to like get the golden card, give him the Q spell, poke him a little bit. But the main point why Twisted Fate is so strong is every lane will overextend. Everyone wants to get kills, and in solo queue it's just incredibly easy to get free rooms off. So. Top lane is fighting 1v1, both want to kill each other, you just ult top lane, get a free kill, you run back to mid lane, you take the farm, and you just do it over and over again. You're nearly always fat on this champion, it's like impossible to not get kills on him in solo queue at least, so I rate him really high to actually climb elo. And with the item build, I think you should just try to get as much movement speed as possible, so boots of stiffness are really good, and then you just keep roaming. As a bonus pick in solo queue, I would suggest Shogart, which is really good in two matchups especially. So he's really good against Z, because the moment he jumps at you, you just silence him and he can't pretty much use his Q, he can't jump back to his shadow, he can't use his e-spell, he can pretty much don't do anything and if you W coming in and then afterwards just using ultimate ignite, you pretty much kill him from 100 to 0. And this Hex Trinker doesn't pop on true damage, so even if he goes Hex Trinker, it doesn't really help him much. Other than that, um, his second good matchup is Gragas. And the thing is, why? The moment he tries to combo you with his four stacks or his machine gun, when he just spams all his spells, you're just going to silence him and, well, 
he realizes he's not going to do the damage, so he runs away, and it's nearly impossible for him to do anything in team fights because every time he has the sticks, you just need to take care of that, you silence him, and he won't deal any damage in the game. Thanks for watching my top 5 mid lane champions. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos over at lolclass.com.